Hey Collins here and I want to show you on this video how you can add a share button on your Shopify page. So currently on the Shopify down theme, you have this feature that allows you to share your product or maybe click on this share button. It just allows you to like copy the link. That's pretty much all it does. There's no option for you to be able to share this through an email, share with a friend on WhatsApp. So to do this, there are two ways. You can either use a custom code or use an app. So there's this awesome app and it's totally free. That's what we'll be using on this video to show you how you can do that. I app store, you need to search for this. This, this is share. So this is share or this share button. So this is what you're looking for. So just to click on it, it's totally free. When you have this app, you add it to your store. Follow the process and install it to our store. Once it is installed, it's pretty easy to set up. So you want an inline or a sticky. So an inline is one that you can place anywhere on your store. You can place an inline here. You can place an inline here. Well, a sticky is one that has to just always remain at that position. So whenever users are scrolling, it's always sticky. So you, you need to choose that from here. So let's go with the inline. And we're we'll just trying to customize how we want it to look. So we don't like this look. Obviously, we want to make it look more like your theme. So it does not just stand out. So what we'll do in this case is just trying to play around with it here. We want it to be on the left. We want, don't want all of these words, so we'll put it to none. So we just a couple of blocks. We don't want it to be color. We want it to just be white and black. So we want it medium. And if you want round corners or extra space, you know, anything else, you just remove the ones you don't want from here are the ones you want. Then that's just pretty much it. And you go to next. And you just sign up an account here. So and share button, we have the active. So this is the only share button that we've created on the app. So then we'll click this. We'll have this code, right? Copy this code. Just click here. Then we go back to your online, your theme. And whenever you want this share button to appear, you need to just insert the code. So let's say we want to put it on our product page. So you need to access your product page. And from the down theme, from here, you go to actions. Remember, if you go to your live store themes, actions, edit code. And we want to search for the product page and insert this code in, onto it, into it. So the best way to always go about this is to go to your template, right? So everything is a template. So you look for the product page template. So this is it. So when you open up the product page template, you're able to find the section that is being used. So in this case, you are using the main product section, right? So we'll select section look for main product so this is the section we need to edit so now you just need to find the place you want to insert this and the best way to go about this is to from here you need to just do like an inspect right click here so for now we want to know the exact place on this page that i want to insert this code so we we'll use the share button and just to inspect where this share button is just allow it to know the right place to insert it. So we can just see the class here. Yeah? We can see share button, quick add hidden. You just want to get this class. So once you have, let's say, this share button, right? So you know we want to insert it below this. So we've gotten this. You just need to come back here. We'll hit Control F or Command F. Then we'll search share button. So now we can see the code, right? So this stuff here, this is it from here. For, so from here to here. Right, so for us to insert, I want to insert it just below this for it to appear below that. Control V. So we'll just put it in here. Share button. So we we'll just save. Right. So now we'll go back to the page and we'll refresh. So you see your share button here now. So this is on the live page. That's pretty much how you do it. So if you want to change the position of this element, Want to insert it somewhere else? You just need to go through your console to know where you want to add it. If you also want to insert this code to a blog page, so let me say you want to do this here. So what you want to do is you go back to your thing, go back to the theme editor. So from the template again, you need to search for your article. So once you insert it into an article, so search for the article or JSON. So on this, you will see the section. So I follow this process because I believe it's easier for you to find what you're looking for. So this is your main article, so we need to go to the section side and look for main article. So I believe this is what we are looking for, main article. So this is what we are looking for. 
So as you can see from here, I already copied this social sharing, but you can also see the classes here for this share button. So you just want to find the location, right? Just for you to know the point it is on the code, so I can insert your own just right below it. So we can just put this share button class here. So all you just need to do is find where this code starts. So from this div to here, so we can just go back and copy this code snippet and just insert it right below this. Insert it right below here. So, so we need to insert it right below here. And that's it. So now we can refresh this page and I believe we should find it. So. Yes, so here when we insert this code here and we go to this page and we'll check, we'll see that it is here. So this is because we've added it outside of the main div, right? So we need to copy this, control C this and move it inside the shares div. So you want this to be inside this div. So we'll just remove this now, right? And now we've copied it into this div and we'll save it again. If we go and refresh on the page, you can see that it's not inside all of this div. If you want to remove this entirely, you can just comment out this code. Right, so from here, from this part, it says share button. You can just add a comment on it. So you can just add a comment. Comment and here that it ends, you can just add another end comment. So this will completely remove it from showing. So then we'll refresh this. So only this is showing now. So this is all one right. For any other page that you want to do this, is still the same process. You look for the class using the inspector. Then you come on here and you search for the class then you know where the code starts and where you want to insert yours so thank you and have a nice one